all love jewelry and we want to be on trend, but let's face it, jewelry costs money. But I'll show you a way to have jewelry that's totally on trend that you don't have to spend a fortune on. So, when it comes to crafting jewelry, what would Tori do? I'll show you. We're going to make a necklace out of some old t-shirts I found in my closet, some chain, some wire, and a brooch. We'll also use jump rings, felt, ribbon, and some pliers, and wire cutters. Now, I've gone ahead and laid out each strand of the necklace the way that I want to wear it, just so you can see all of the components. Now, let's talk chain. Personally, I like mixing metal, so I've done silver and gold tone chains. But you can also do all gold, all silver, whatever you feel like. I wanted the necklace to have a nice tiered look, kind of like the look you create when you layer a bunch of necklaces at different lengths. The problem with doing that is they all get tangled. So this way, I've taken the messiness out of it and you have an awesome necklace. I cut the chain into different lengths, like you see here. Then I decorated the chains in a couple of different ways. First, I took some old t-shirts that I had in my closet that I don't think I've worn since high school, but it's perfect to bring them back now because neon is totally back in. Then, I cut them up into strips with scissors and I wove them through the chain. Now, you don't have to use t-shirts. You can use almost anything. Ribbons, yarns, twine, vintage fabrics, or anything that has personal meaning to you. Oh, here's a quick Tory tip. If you tape the end of the t-shirt with clear tape, so it looks kind of like a shoelace, then it's way easier to guide it through the chain. You can also use a paper clip. So what you wanna do is unfold the paper clip like so, and then you just kind of push it through and pull it the rest of the way. It'll totally save time. Next, I created this embellishment, which we're gonna use as a design element to connect the chain together. I made this out of some felt, some more strips of t-shirt, and a brooch. Brooches like this are really inexpensive to buy, but I think it's kind of cool if you have an old brooch just lying around. Or maybe it's a family heirloom you wanted to repurpose to make it into something more modern. The first thing I did is I glued two pieces of felt together, like a sandwich. Then I cut them into an organic shape. I like things organic. I attached a scrapbooking eyelet to the top of the felt, which is what we'll use to attach this to our chain when we put everything together. Then I added all my details, the fun part. First, I took t-shirt strips and I made a rosette. In a circular motion, you just wanna twist and fold the rosette. Twist and fold, kind of like you're spinning a wheel. Periodically, you'll want to glue the fabric down. Then I stuck the rosettes to the felt with a hot glue gun. Next, you would want to pin on your brooch. If your brooch is broken, don't worry about it because you can glue it or you can even sew it. Now, here's the cool Tory trick. This looks beautiful just the way it is, but if you want it maybe a colored brooch, you don't have to go buy one. I found that you can take nail polish and you just paint one coat on the clear rhinestone, like this. And when it dries, you get a totally cool pop of color. Love that. Now it's time to put the necklace together. And this is super easy. I'm telling you, anyone can do it. I used a large jump ring to attach the chains on this side, and a couple more jump rings to attach the chains to the embellishment on this side. Next, I attached a satin ribbon to the end of the chain over here, made a knot. And then at this end, to the embellishment over here, making another knot. Now, don't worry, you don't have to use ribbon. You can use another chain, leather, suede, cording. Be creative. The best step is you put it on like this. The greatest thing about this is you can make it any length you want. Your girlfriends will be wondering where you bought it and how much you spent on it. Thanks so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed making this necklace with me and that it inspires you to go and make your own jewelry. You can also get more crafting tips from me at tlc.com. I'll see you soon.